Good morning. It's Thursday, July 5th. It's 10 o'clock, and Commissioner Hawkins and Commissioner Bloom are here. And if I'd ask you stand up for a moment of silent meditation and a pledge to the flag. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Good morning, County Administrator. We have consents and approvals. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We have uh, 37 exonerations for $13,050.74. We have three requests for replacement tickets for $2,699.04. <clears throat> General County vouchers, $447,975.53. Coal severance, $41,786.96. Dog tax, $50,796.58. Magistrate court, $54,674.57. 911-3485-75, home confinement 131-596-39, Chestnut Ridge Park $9,064.18, Camp Muffley 5,952.02, Mason Dixon Park 5,301.50, reallocated coal 57,500, assessor's valuation 3,724.73, payroll 2,867.22, Purchasing card vouchers, general county fund, $16,050.34. Magistrate court, $2840. 911-1225.11. Home confinement, $7,576.64. Chestnut Ridge Park, $3685. Camp Muffley, $41955. Mason Dixon Park, $2641. Assessor's valuation, $5,542.61 for a voucher total of 845,631.34. We have um, position vacancies for boards and authorities, the Western Board of Zoning Appeals, Planning Commission, River Road, PSD, Public Valley, Pleasant Valley PSD, the Solid Waste Authority, Development Authority, Building Commission, the Board of Health, Fiduciary Orders for July 5th, 2018, Statement of Services for a Fiduciary Commissioner Lynn Crane, for the Charles John Hintz Estate and the Josephine Tarantini Estate, Statement of Services for George Armistead, uh, Willa V. Thomas Estate, and Kathleen Boyer Estate. Move for approval. Second. Papa moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 It passes. Great. <laughs> do we have any introduction of any new employees? Yes, we do. Good morning. Um, this may be a familiar face yeah. to you. Uh, Kylan left us last year uh, to take employment elsewhere. She moved out of state and has since moved back. And when we um, advertised for part-time summer help, she walked in the door <laughs> and um, was actually um, the only applicant for this position. So... After completing her background check, and which we did do, yeah, yeah. and interviews, um, we had Kylan join us starting last week. She works on Thank Wednesday, you. so she worked out oh, great. perfectly for this week. And um, her, uh, it is uh, part time, mm -hmm. um, temporary, uh, no probationary period, no benefits, and an hourly rate of 1088. Move for approval. Second problem properly moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank Great. you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. At this time, do we have any comments from the public? Since we only have one person public, so okay. Seeing none, uh, Colleen Coon grants. Do we have any grants? No, they took the day off, July 4th. Okay. <coughs> correspondence. Do we have any correspondence? Um, yes. One okay. Item. Um, I just need to make a matter of record. Um, the um, WVU is applying for right. a build grant for the university's PRT system. <coughs> um, they're going to be doing some upgrades, and they needed a letter of support, and it needed to be to them by July the 2nd. So 
we had you all sign it, and right. um, we just need to make that a matter of record. Okay. okay. Uh, move that we, uh, of course, support this uh, letter of support. Second. Prop moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other correspondence? No. Okay. <coughs> Seeing none, we will move to unfinished business to consider approval requisition for number two for the University Town Center EODD subordinate special district excise tax revenue and improvement bond series 2017B project fund. Good for approval. Second, I think what we waited did we had to have, make sure it was we had it. Uh, yeah, we have engaged Municap to right. do any review of those requisitions, yes, and correct. they have reviewed all the supplied documentation okay. and just to verify the amount is 13 million. $432,139.58. Okay. And this is not actual money that will be dispersed. It is just being credited back to yes. the developer. Correct. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes. Any other unfinished business? Yeah. Okay, move into new business. Consideration of approval of a tranche re release request number two for the County Commission's Outstanding Senior Tax Increment Revenue and Refunding Bond Series 2016A, Development District Number Four, University Town Center. Move for approval. Second. <coughs> Any this discussion is, uh, or? Property tax, the property tax TIF from 2016. Um, the second tranche is $7 million, and they were requesting that to be released. Oh, good. Okay, so it's a problem move. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Yeah, aye, it passes. <coughs> Consideration to approve the network support administration and consulting contract with Global Science and Technology Incorporated for fiscal 2019. Move for approval. Second. This is just a continuation of what we had already right. contracted with. with um, it's a monthly total of $400 um, for a 12 month period. Um, I, our IT supervisor has already reviewed the contract, and uh, he he agrees that we don't need to add anything or take anything away from what services they are currently providing. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 It passes. To consider adoption of a resolution in support of the execution of an operation of an operations and management agreement between the River Road Public Service District and the Morgantown Utility Board. Move for approval. Approved. Second. Um, since I see someone in the audience, are you interested in saying anything or are just? Uh, no. I don't really have any prepared remarks. Okay. Fun. Okay. You want it read? Yes. Could you read it, please? Okay. Whereas the County Commission of Montague County, West Virginia, in addition to all other powers and duties now conferred by Chapter 16, Article 13A of the West, of West Virginia Code of 1931 as amended to create, enlarge, reduce, merge, dissolve, and consolidate public service districts within the county. And whereas the River Road Public Service District, a public water utility, desires that the system be operated and maintained in a safe and cost-effective manner that will provide quality public water service to its customers. And whereas the Montague County Commission, along with the district, sought out the Morgantown Utility Board to acquire the district along with its facilities and all its all of its approximately 780 customer accounts. And whereas the Morgantown Utility Board mission is to provide its customers the highest quality public drinking water service at the lowest possible cost. And whereas MUB is willing to willing and able to operate and maintain the district's public water facilities pending the combination of these parties. And whereas the district and the board intend to combine with the remaining entity to be the Morgantown Utility Board, the rights and duties arising under the proposed operations and management agreement Agreement shall serve as an interim arrangement pending final combination of the two parties. Therefore, be it resolved that the County Commission of Montague County, West Virginia, does hereby lend its support to the efforts of the Morgantown Utility Board and the River Road Public Service District to execute an operations and management agreement to provide professional management services to and for the district in all phases of the operation and maintenance of the public water service. The date of July 5th. Okay, Tim, if you want to say your name and who you are. Yeah. Tim Ball, General Manager of Morgantown Utility Board. I thought I'd just give the commission and, and those here sure. a, an update on where we are in the process. Uh, this resolution is simply a, an expression of the commission's support for uh, the plan that I'm about to describe. Uh, the commission and the River Road Public Service District have requested MUB acquire the River Road Public Service District, and we're agreeable to that, and, and we're working on a plan that will accomplish that. Our best estimate is that it's going to take 9 to 12 months for the Public Service Commission to approve that acquisition. 
uh, the River Road Board and its staff would like to relinquish their duties and, and have MUB take <coughs> over quicker than that. So this operations and maintenance agreement is a tool that will help us accomplish that short-term goal uh, of River Road Public Service District. Uh, it will allow, once it's approved, uh, it will allow MUB to take over the daily operations of the River Road PSD during that time frame while we're waiting the nine to 12 months for PSC approval of the ultimate acquisition. Now we estimate it's gonna take probably two or three months to get the PSC's approval of the O&M agreement. Mm -hmm. And River Road and its staff will remain in place and they'll remain the entity operating just as they have been uh, until that time. So said just a, di a slightly different way, this operations and maintenance agreement that we're talking about this morning will not take effect until the PSC has approved it. And again, our guess is that'll take two or three months months. So until then, River Road will continue operating. And for clarification, because several of the people in River Road have asked, there is no increase. They're just going to continue paying until their loan is, I mean, how the... That's correct. R River Road has either a 30 or 40 year debt of right. be between two and three million dollars. Uh, their rates will remain the same okay. during that period. Once that debt is retired, we would yeah. expect to eliminate the River Road rate and, and implement MUB rates in that area. But okay. the River Road rates will remain in effect for the, for the foreseeable future. And thank you, because that was, that was the only question <coughs> people had asked and were wondering, but I appreciate you stating that. That was part of our, the agreement. Yes. Yes. Okay, um, since the pop moves in second, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you very much. <coughs> well, Thank you. We appreciate your help on that, this matter. Okay, D, consideration of approving the issuance of a request for qualifications for professional service in the preparation of the final draft of proposed subdivision regulation and land development ordinance for Montague County. Move for approval with discussion. Second. Uh, I guess. Yes, this is uh, a... RFQ so that we may finish the proposed subdivision regulations. If you note the history, um, it was subjected to the public hearing, and the public hearing uh, individuals uh, spoke that they wanted something, but they wanted input into it, and they were given that opportunity. Uh, that opportunity was seized and a momentum was achieved uh, for a period of time. However, there are still a few points short of the goals that they would like to attend and attendance having dropped off. It's the recommendation of our county planner, Rich Wood, uh, that we put forth this RFQ to simply have these divisions tidied up, if you will, and brought to fruition for our review. Excellent, I said. Um, with that, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, it passes, and we finally move it forward. Okay, any reports from elected officials? Okay, seeing none, reports from county commissioners. Ed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Friday, we, uh, we took the tour of Milan Park. Uh, Dave uh -huh. and Sarah from the morning show uh, accompanied us, uh, as others did. And the facilities uh, that, you know, we, it wasn't a reminisce so much, but, you know, going back and looking, and I'll let Tom speak to that just when we started the peer review group of what we wanted to see in this facility and what you're seeing now, particularly the, the track, uh, I believe it's going to be used uh, this fall. September, third week in September. Yeah. There. So yeah. uh, that uh, the, the progress that's been made has been eye-opening, so everything seems to be on schedule there. As well as uh, Tuesday had the OAC meeting at Milan Park. That's with the extension um, building that is going on right now. And of course, yesterday, the Fourth of July, uh, I I hear we got a rain in town. I'm sorry, I wasn't in town for the parade, uh, but it did not rain at Easton, unfortunately. Um, I, I wished maybe a little bit had shifted out my way instead of raining on the parade. Next week is older 4-H camp. And although I won't be at our typical Wednesday meeting here, uh, my fellow commissioners will be joining me for dinner uh, Tuesday evening, I believe, uh, with the older campers. So I do look forward to that as I look forward every year uh, to, you know, to having uh, you know, the, this opportunity to see the youth develop and grow. Lastly, uh, I will be going, uh, I'm representing if 
your permission commission tomorrow for the services of Mr. Paul Nesselrode. Uh, yes. Mr. Nesselrode passed away, was a pillar in our community. Uh, you know, he, he always showed up no matter what. Uh, you know, he, he, had, he had a position, but he had many, many places that he would participate, the Farm Bureau, 4 H and lastly to that end, he was for many, many years president of the Montague Youth Camp Commission running the 4 H camp for this uh, you know, for this entity here. Uh, and before he I believe he served up until the time I started in nineteen eighty eight. So uh, our condolences to his family, a life well lived uh, in service of Montague County. Thank you. Did you have one other issue? I did. Uh, it was on the bottom of my pile. Okay. Um, safe communities is changing over to uh, a mountain safe instead of right. uh, the Greater Morgantown Safe Communities Initiative. Um, and in so doing that, they are reapplying for uh, funding through the WVU Injury Control Research Center um, for uh, continued funding. And so they just asked for a letter of support from the commission, um, and it's prepared for you if you so okay. choose. Move to allow us to sign this letter of support. Second. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, for those of you who weren't downtown, I was very pleased the, that people did show up because we had a 35-minute monsoon rain. Um, but it was really well attended. Um, it was a lot of fun, and then for the first time, we had people out on the courthouse square. They had a band there, and then they watched the fireworks. So uh, again, I want to thank everyone for showing up. Um, just as we mentioned on Friday, we had taken a tour of the facility, and I just want the public to understand, this came out of when, when the community leadership meetings were working, and everyone was in agreement. We had excellent discussions. Out of that came a concept that we put Bow Park in charge of this group that had people from inside the city and outside the city and all throughout the county. And it took four years and four months, but we had an, an exceptional plan. Going through there, I don't think people will, will believe how high that the highest, I think it's 48 feet, the diving board. It is unbelievable how high, oh, it's scary. When you walk in there and then you have 17 feet of water, so we were at the bottom. And it's just really neat. The other thing with the track, I can't wait. I mean, the view is unbelievable. And then you also have the community pool and then the splash pad that's going to show miles of the beautiful scenery. I mean, it's something that we're going to be very proud of and I look forward to uh, working with. I've already set in motion, I talked with the Red Cross, I've asked them to work on a plan to possibly then, if they can do it, work with the school system. My, my goal, and I think our goal, I should say, at the County Commission is to have in place when this swimming complex gets in, every fourth grader be able to learn how to swim. So we would take them up there and that would be something about Montague County Schools and the community. So that's our next goal out of that. Um, everything else uh, is looking great. Uh, I'm real excited that uh, we had a tremendous fourth, and even though it did rain, I think it, it held off enough so that we were able to enjoy the heat and the <laughs> fireworks. So with that, is there anything else? Move to adjourn. Second. Proper move adjourned. Second. We're out of here. <coughs>